So now we're back in Ujine and I'm gonna drink a chaju in this bar here. But um, we're, we have to pack, get ready because then we're gonna go to Toronto. They made a really beautiful cappuccino. Red wine? I think it's a spritz. Spritz wine? Canada, mm. a trovare la sua famiglia in Canada. Ooh, there's a scary dog around here. Look, we're here at this La Tana da Lupo. It's a Serbian restaurant and I've never had Serbian food. So this is a really beautiful place, my first time here. And we're meeting friends because um, we're going to go to Canada soon. I'll be gone for two and a half months. I'll be in Toronto. Hi! Oh my god. He's angry. Sorry, I'm going away. Anyway, I still haven't packed or anything. <laughs> I have so many things to do. I'm super tired these days too. Enrico and his friends are already sitting down. It's a really beautiful place. Everyone's taking, but so it really is Serbian cuisine here. And look at the bread, it's like pita bread. Hot. So you have the, the bread that he makes. The guy there is making the bread fresh down there in that little hut over there. And uh, yeah. Enrico's got a salad with, but it's just tomatoes, cucumbers, and a kind of cheese on top. It looks good though. We're gonna share the meat. Yeah. This is pig, roast pig, with the skin and everything too. This looks very, very good. Actually, so far, everything's been really good. Ooh, you can't see me. Aha, now you can see me. The food here is really, really good apart from the desserts. So I say, don't get the desserts here. Go get a gelato somewhere else after. But the barbecue and stuff is really good. I'm on my trip. I was crying a little. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm we're on our way to to the airport to go to Toronto and so Freya's in bed sleeping and I just got really sad leaving her because I won't see her for a while but it makes me really sad and I, I miss Freya so much and you know if you have a pet then you understand how it feels but also just like whenever I have to go to a different place even though it's my home it just feel I get emotional just to leave my apartment too, I don't know, but we're going and we're kind of in the middle of a little rainstorm and I even saw lightning, which is good, it's the middle, it's um, 10 a.m. but it's good because at least we don't, we're not like in the hot sun, it's not like super hot today like it was the other days. So it's an hour and a half from here to Marco Polo Venice Airport where we're going. And now it's really coming down and there's lightning, one was nearby. Oh my gosh. In the airport, they have this um, full-on restaurant with like wine and everything. It's a wine bar restaurant. It's cool. So this is the Marco Polo airport. Yay! Ciao Enrico! Ciao! We're in the airplane and this is Air Transa and we got a really good airplane because it's quite big, airy and you have the screens in front of you uh, and it's very happy. Look at, can you see the cold air? The air con is blasting. I'm so excited! Ciao! 
see you in Toronto. We'll see you later when we have meals. Actually. <laughs> Watching big eyes and uh, this is just fried rice. Probably this is better. It's like a little soup here, like beans or lentils inside. And uh, a piece of maple syrup lunch. And Mexico has orange chicken, and the other stuff is the same. It's okay, it's not bad anyway. But I don't think it's great, but not bad. back this is my house this is my old street where I grew up partially grew up and it's my dad and they have some beautiful flowers they have daylilies roses some uh, wind flowers uh, Okay, a little tour of the inside. In Canada, you should take off your shoes, at least in Toronto, because not everywhere in Canada, but in Toronto, you take off your shoe, shoes in the vest vestibule, and then you can go up. And uh, this is one living room, sitting room. Here's the kitchen. And the dining area. The living room, the den, the backyard, barbecue, and then upstairs, everything's hardwood. I think this is where I'm staying, but, oh, oh my gosh. So actually, this was my old room, and that is a painting I did with uh, oil pastels when I was in high school. And this is another one that I did. It kind of got destroyed. Some students at my high school kind of went into the, um, the gallery area and kind of ruined, messed up some of the paintings.